Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for February 25. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And if you need some assets, then Unity right now has three really awesome bundles available, all of them 95% off. You've got the Fantasy Bundle, so here you've got some really cool looking medieval low poly heroes, then you've got some environments to place in your world. You've got a really awesome tool for helping you make some soft shadows. I love this, it looks great. Another excellent tool, this one for making outlines. Then you've got a bunch more tools and some VFX. On the realistic bundle, you've got a realistic car controller. Really great starting point for making any kind of car game. You've got some gorgeous real-time global illumination. Some really nice realistic water effects. Then you've got a checkbox, a character controller, something to place decals, and something to hide your code. And on the sci-fi bundle, on this one you've got a modular cyberpunk city. You've got a space combat kit, so really cool. Then you've got a heavy sci-fi space station. You've got a bunch of sounds, a nice soft mask for your UI. You've got some more environments, some more VFX, and a ton of customizable characters. All of these bundles are super deep discount, 95% off. For example, on the Fentas one, this line tool costs 40 bucks, and the whole bundle is under 20 bucks. So you put on these, if just one of these looks interesting, then the entire bundle is worth it. Check them out to the link in the description. All right, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a nice pack of a bar interior. Right away, obviously this would be perfect for some kind of bar management tycoon game. You could just get some characters, set up some basic AI to have them spawn, have them come in, ask for a drink, and just like that you have a great start for a game just like it. Or perhaps this could be just an environment in your game. So perhaps some kind of RPG, and this is where you meet some kind of quest giver. And then if you have a bar, perhaps you might want to have a bar fight, maybe with this pack. This contains a bunch of brawler animations. You've got the character doing all sorts of moves. So you've got some punches, dodging side to side. There's some roll animations. There's some get hit animations, or even pick up the opponent and just punch them. In total, it contains 24 animations, so that's pretty good. And if you want even more, you can pick up the full pack with 63 animations. Then for a nice tool, here is a guidance line. So this is great for guiding your players to some place, like the objective or some kind of target. It looks pretty intuitive. Just place down the positions, define the radius for the curves, and it will automatically spawn all the lines. You can make it in any shape that you want. It can have as many or as few points as you need to. The whole thing is built using some nice lines. And it can also have a nice animated visual. So if you're working on some kind of RPG game, then this could be a great one. Next, for some nice VFX, here we have some shockwaves. These look really nice, either in small or in large. Both types look really good. You can change the color to represent lots of different statuses. So this could be either buff or debuff or some kind of aura. All the parameters, those are all exposed. So you can use this as a starting point and then play with all the settings to get it looking exactly as you want it. Then here's a simple one, some nice UI panels. You've got the background, there are some icons, you've got some OK or Cancel buttons. So the whole thing is very simple, but a pretty nice pack. If you have some panels in your game, like some kind of dialog box. If so, when you're just using just prototype basic colors. If so, then adding some visuals like this can help make it look quite a bit nicer. Up next, we have a tooltip tool. I did a tutorial a while ago on how to build a nice dynamic tooltip just like this one. If you want, you can follow that tutorial and expand upon it, or you can just use this one. This one looks pretty nice. It has a scalable background and even supports some icons. You can keep it as simple as you want or add some nice fancy custom visuals. Then if you need some modular cartoony characters, look at this one. It features 30 assets that you can mix and match. You've got multiple faces, multiple hats, t-shirts, pants, and so on. So you could use this in combination with my character customization system, the one that I made in a previous tutorial. You can download those project files and use them with this asset pack. Just with that, you can get tons of variation, so you can use this one free pack to make all the characters for your game. It also comes with 14 animations and a red hue third person controller, so really nice for a free version. And there's also a paid version of this pack if you need even more objects and props. Next, for another interesting tool, here we have lockable prefabs. Like the name implies, this lets you select which fields on your prefab should be exposed or hidden. This can help basically save you from yourself, so you don't accidentally change something that should not be changed. You just select what properties you want to expose, and only those are exposed. This can be especially useful when working with a team. For example, you can lock some prefabs so the programmers can't mess with the visuals or vice versa. Oh no, simple but pretty nice tool. Then for some 2D, here is a nice pack with some cowboy cats. It is definitely a unique theme. It looks quite nice. It's got some nice pixel art for the characters and the environment. 
I quite like the shapes and the colors. I can see this being great for some kind of adventure game. So you go into a town like this one, you talk to some NPCs, do some quests and do a bunch more things. Or for another tool, look at this pack. This one is a collection of C Sharp extensions. In case you don't know, extension functions are actually a very useful C Sharp feature. I have a lecture on it in my free C Sharp course. Basically, it's how you can extend lock types with more functionality without having to modify the original source code. So, for example, it's how you can add functionality to a Unity transform. You can't modify the original code, but you can make an extension function. This one has some extensions for doing a coroutine, destroying a game object, and a bunch more. So maybe explore this and then use it as inspiration to build your own extensions to make your workflow much better. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for February 25. There's links on the description, and also check out my own free and pen assets on the store. Also, I'm hard at work on my CodeMonkey Toolkit asset. This is a collection of tools and elements to help you make better games faster. Basically, it's based on the tons of tutorials that I've made in this channel over the years. I'm taking those as a base and improving upon it, refactoring, polishing, and making a ton of additions. The goal is to make it all really easy to use. So for example, does your game need an input window? If so, just drag and drop. Do you need an easy way to reference assets? Use the game assets class, text writing effect, the error detector, use the web request class, the question dialog window, and tons more. I'm hoping this will be really useful. I'm still hard at work on it. I've made about 10 tools so far and I want to do a bunch more. If you're interested, then check the link in the description and sign up with your email and I'll let you know when it's out. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.